it's Anne from The Useless Crafter and today I'm going to walk you through how to make this off the shoulder t-shirt. So we're going to be in design space and I'll show you where to order things. So uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I appreciate all the support that I can get. So all right, let's get started. I'm so excited about this. I'm going to make my uh, things smaller, but for now I just wanted to show you this. Um, I'm using two colors. I'm using hot pink and actually three colors of the black in the background but i'm using hot pink and uh oh i forgot already <laughs> give me just one second i had it just here i'm using neon pink and neon dark pink unfortunately the neon dark pink is not available on amazon just yet so i wanted to show you your alternatives so let me make this a little bit smaller but you can see the shirt is so stinking cute i love it so much so all right let's do this and you can always um for me because the way that i get my htv from poly tape um I have the the numbers on here, so that's why I'm giving you the numbers to help you translate to the Amazon order. But if you're ever looking, you can always go on Polytape on their website and you can check out all the HTV, where to buy it, all that stuff. Uh, what I'm showing you is the easiest way to buy it is on Amazon. So let's go over to Amazon. And on Amazon, this is one of the colors. It's the neon pink. So the neon dark pink isn't available, but I think you might still like this color, which is fuchsia, um, or you can go with the baby pink. Uh, I like both. I think it'll look super, super cute. So, okay, once you're on, in Amazon, what you can do is, give me a second, let me show you. You can go to my links, and I have all my HTV stuff in here so it's um the htv projects and you can see that this is the shirt that i'm wearing <laughs> i it's so comfortable i it's it's such a good find for twenty dollars and the shirt is so cute i'm actually wearing it over a dress so my little straps come up so it's a little bit thicker than like a bra bra strap or bralette um, but then the skirt comes out I don't know it's adorable so, <laughs> uh, so once you're in here these are the sweatshirts that I like to use and also the HTV that I'm using so all right let's go the next thing you're gonna need is if you like this font uh, I am on Creative Fabrica. All these links will be in the description, but it's called Spooky Season, and it's just, it's really cute. It makes me think of, you, they have these little characters. These are lowercase letters, so if you want to use the O's, these are lowercase O's, but um, if you just want the puffy, spooky font, it's going to be capitalized. So, all right, let's get into design space so I can show you what I'm talking about. Now, when you're in design space, what you can do is you can actually search for my profile. So you can search for Ann Pham, the useless crafter, and what you'll find is this. These are my projects that are ready to go and you can click on them and I tell you my supply list, the colors that I'm using, um, and the file is sort of like ready to go. But on this one, I really wanted to actually show you how I did it in design space because I think there are good tips here and also like why I did something. So for instance, instance when we're layering uh, HTV I don't like to layer too many colors because it's a lot of heat that you're giving the HTV why I love using polytape HTV is because it takes three to five seconds to press this the turbo line so if you think about three to five seconds you can you're not going to burn any of your any of your blanks so I will do um, which is why I'm willing to to personalized wallets and purses and all of that because I know I only need to press for a few seconds. Now, why I say three to five seconds, you only need three seconds if you do a higher temperature and you only need five seconds, you need longer time, the additional two seconds um, is if you go with lower heat. And I believe the range is like 285 degrees to 325, right around there, I think. So when I'm layering, what I end up doing is I put it on the low temperature. So I do it about 285 and then I only press for about two or three seconds. That is, that's enough to, to get the, um, the vinyl to kind of get that sticky tackiness, the glue going from the heat. 
And so I can peel off my protective layer and then add my next layer. And then I do a final press at the end, all layers. I put it down for like three, three to five seconds. And that way it all gets in there. So if you can see like right now, like it's nice and on the shirt and I absolutely love it. It's thin, um, it, you know, all the reasons why I love Polytape HTV. Um, a few more reasons in case you needed it. It cuts really well and it weeds really well. And then of course the quick press. So I absolutely love it. And I love it now that it's on Amazon even more. <laughs> All right, so I'm not gonna go into this one. This one I'm gonna leave here in case you don't wanna learn how to do this. And let's go to new project. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I do have Cricut access. So I only have memberships to a few things, a uh, membership for Cricut Design Space, the access, because I like having the files, um, so many images available to me. Um, yes, I could go find it somewhere else. Uh, I could probably create some of it, but all of that is so much time when for Cricut access, you don't pay, you know, I think it's like what, $10 a month. Um, and they have such a great program with designers all over the world. So you have, and I'll show you in a second. So let's put in vampire lips and we'll talk about, we'll talk about these images. So you can see here, because I have Cricut access, anything with an A, uh, there's a price, but it's marked free because it's part of my, um, part of my membership. Now, when you scroll down, you can see these are all designers that are living out there. They're not Cricut Design Space employees. They're independent co contractors. They're designers that are um, going, you know, offering us their files through Design Space. So we just have so many amazing, talented artists out there at our fingertips that to me, it's uh, it's nice to have this library. I mean, I have 1800 vampire lips to choose from. <laughs> so, okay, let's scroll down. And um, did I end up, I did, end up using hold on let me see if i can recognize the lips i have one or did i shoot i can't remember i think i might have used um hold on let me actually go to my file now i can't remember which one i used so this is a great way to, to look at this. I'm gonna go to my profile and we're actually gonna go and let's see. It doesn't tell me. Let's go in here and see which images. Oh, I did use, see, I did use. So Vampire Mouth is this image right here. So it's from Cute Digital Press and the file number is here. All right, so I'm gonna add it to so exit out of it and then we're just going to add to canvas okay let's just make it a little bit smaller now on this file what you can see is there's actually three three different layers right you've got your it this is all attached together or this is all um grouped together there's the white layer where you have the teeth and the sort of like the gloss on the lips, right? You have the red lips and then the black background. So if you look at my shirt, um, I, it's a white t-shirt. So I didn't want another layer of white on there. So I used the t-shirt the to come through instead of vinyl for the white teeth. So I will show you how to handle that. But for now, let's just do this. Let's just size it like this. And then my font is, I used um, Spooky, right? Spooky Season. So I've already downloaded that. So in here, I'm gonna go to text and go to fonts. It's funny that they call it system fonts, right? Cause it's not really a system font. I uploaded it. <laughs> it should be the other way, right? Um, system should be the Cricut fonts. But okay, so here's Spooky Season. So. Um, I'm going to type in, what is it, hot goals, hot goals, goals, <laughs> I can barely say it. If you want the letter 
the letters like H and G, then you need them to be capitalized. Lowercase letters come in with these with these images. So for instance, I'm going to click on another text box, okay? And I'll show you what I mean. So on this one, I'm going to do all uppercase, okay? So you see how it comes out like that? So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do another text box and I'm going to do Halloween. I'm going to get rid of this one. Okay, so I've got these two and I'm just going to move this down just a little bit so you can see. Okay, the reason why I separated it is because I, I didn't want it to go in a circle where the bottom letters are upside down. So I separated it into two and I'm going to make them equal to each other. So what I mean by that is I want this to be in that semicircle in the curve, right? So I'm going to go to the curve feature and I'm going to go this way, right? Um, and I think I did it about 64. I don't remember exactly, but let's assume that I did it at 64, okay? Then I'm going to go to Halloween, and I'm actually going to do negative 64. So I can actually type in here, and it will give me the same, um, the same arc as hot goals up there. And I can put it down here like this. Okay, and this feels more like not a circle. I think I need it to be rounder. So I'm gonna go to my curve and just move it a little bit more, maybe even to 71. Let's see what 71 looks like when it curves up. So I'm gonna change that negative 64 to negative 71. And I kinda like that, okay? now. Okay, then what I did was hot goals I did in this one color. So let me change this color right now to, let's just do it in a purple. So this will be in purple. Then I did a little bit of an offset. So I'm gonna, you know what? I feel like Halloween, it's not gonna be even, but I almost feel like it would look better if it went up a little bit more how does that look I think that looks better even though because it's a little bit longer so it's not technically we know it's not a right match but visually I feel like it looks better so okay let's do our little offset so on the offset I'm gonna go to the offset feature and this is really thick, 0.25 inches. It's super thick. And um, I wanted just a thin black outline, just so that the words pop out. But black really isn't, you know, part of the, the design. It's really about being the, you know, the hot pink, the hot purple kind of thing. So I'm going to go all the way down to 0 0.05. Hit the tab key so that we can see it adjust and then apply. And so you can see it's just a little bit of an outline. Same thing with Halloween. I'm gonna go and do an offset. It saves the last, you know, my last offset um, setting. So I'm gonna apply. So we've got all that. Now, because I'm wearing a white shirt, then the teeth and this, I don't need to add a layer of white. I would just need to slice it out, right? So. If you like the size of this, what I would do at this point is I would grab the lips and make another, make a copy, a duplicate. And on this one, I'm gonna take the teeth and I'm gonna slice it from the red. So I'm gonna hit my shift key and grab the red lips so that these two items are um, selected at the moment, right? So, cause they're in green, I know I'm selecting them and I'm gonna slice. So instead of white being a layer, I'm going to remove the white. So see now it comes through. And then what I need to do though, is I also need to, um, let's see, the slice results of this, I'm going to need to slice it from the black as well. So grab those two items. So now what I'm left with is, oops. How come it didn't slice from this one? 
Okay, hold on. Let's undo. I must not have selected the right. So let's undo this for a second. Get back there. Okay. So my red is sliced out. Let's go to my white. Oh, my white is up there. Hold on. Let's go back. Okay. Let's start over. This is our, these are our three, right? I'm going to grab the teeth, hit the shift key, grab the red. It's a good exercise. <laughs> and slice. Then I'm going to grab the teeth again. I'm going to grab the black and slice. Now when I remove everything, see, so now this is working. I can see it. So here's my black. So I'm actually going to remove this for now and put this black in here, right? So now I have the holes. I don't have a white layer. Let's remove, let's delete all of this and we can actually delete this as well. So I've got all my, all my white, the holes are coming through. It looks like white is a layer, but it's not. And let's remove these slice results. So we should just have, okay, now we've got it. This one, so this is the order of the layers. So the black is on top. So if I put the red over here, I'm not gonna see the red because the black layer is on top. So I have two options to, to fix this visually, right? Because when you go, you can, you can layer it however you wanna layer it. But I have the option of moving this black layer over here in the right-hand side by just moving it, grabbing it, and moving it below the red. So now I see the red and the black and the white is obviously the black background or the white background. Now my other option is I could have grabbed this and went to arrange and bring it to the front. Obviously it's already in the front, but those are my two ways to move to move the, um, the individual items um, into the order of the layering process. And that's all that there is to this. So it is three colors. It's the purple the purple letters, the red lips, and the black. I'm not using the white, so what you're gonna end up doing is, so let's, um, let's move these things out of the way. So, because I like the alignment of this, I'm actually gonna cut the, I'm gonna grab all three items of the black and attach. It's gonna cut out as one piece. So when I go to layer this on my shirt, I don't have to worry about um, about making sure that hot goals um, is exactly where it should be on the lips. It you know here I've already decided it's gonna cut like this. Okay. So when we go to the um, oops, what we should do before we do that though is let's put all this back and let's make sure that we want the size. We have the right size. So grab the whole thing and right now it's about it's very similar it's very similar in height and width so for my shirt i just i always what i do is i google it i google um t-shirt size and placement and in this case they said that for a women's shirt they recommend it to be nine inches by nine inches when i measured it out on my shirt and on myself I felt that nine inches was just a little bit too big, so I went with about eight inches. So in this case, I'm gonna go to the bigger one and I'm just going to change it to eight. So everything gets resized appropriately. And then now I have my three pieces. So when you go to make it, let's look at this. Your black, like I said, is gonna be all together. So that way, when you lay it down on your shirt, everything is lined up the way it should be. And if you, you know what, you could have, we could have even done this. So hold on, let's go back over here for a second. And let's um, detach it. And what we could do first is we can grab all of this and we can go to align and center it horizontally so that everything gets lined up. Now, if you like it, then you grab all the black and you, oh, it's already attached. Okay. Oh, everything is attached. Hold on. Let's detach everything. All right. Now we can, let's double check this. So we're going to grab everything. We're going to align and center it horizontally. So it's scooted over a little bit, right? Then I'm going to grab all my black 
and I'm going to attach it. I want to make that one thing so it's one less thing I have to worry about to make this shirt perfect. Everything's going to align perfectly. So let's go and make it. You should save it. <laughs> Just in case your system breaks down. Okay, so sorry. If I'm going to tell you to do it, we should do it, right? So let's save it. This is um, Hot Goals Halloween um, demo. Okay, so I'm going to save it. All right, so let's go to make it so you can see what it looks like. So it's HTV, you want to mirror everything. So I clicked mirror over here. So this black is all gonna cut out like this. I am gonna waste a little bit of black here, but you can always trim it off and, and save your scraps. Here's my purple, I wanna mirror that. So this is the way it is, it's taking up about six inches, right? So I'm gonna mirror it, but the way I cut this was like this. I turned this upside down. Just make sure that nothing is overlapping. So I saved about an inch, right? Cause it went below into the six inch something. And then up here after it cuts, you can save this as scrap, you know, this little area right here, but I did that. And then the lips, the lips, you also want to make sure you mirror and you go and do it. So um, let's hit continue and I'll show you with a couple things that I've learned on my machine using poly tape is that most colors out in the turbo line outside of the neons, the neon is a little bit thicker. So with black and regular red, regular purple, whatever regular colors you use outside of neon, I would go and um, browse the materials and type in iron. And I would just do everyday iron on. For the neon, it's a little bit thicker. So all I do is I still use everyday iron on. The only difference is once I cut it once, I don't pull it out. I just hit the C again and let it cut through one more time and then it peels off easily um, it's all ready for you to go and that's it isn't it the cutest shirt so okay so I taught you how to do it I taught you why you would slice things out as opposed to just using it as is um, I think it's best when we're layering with HTV but um, you can either follow along so that you pick up those skills. Or if you already know how to do it and you don't want to waste your time, you can go and search for my profile and just go and get ready to cut it. So that's all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, all the links are in the description. Thank you for following. Happy Halloween.